perception. Yes. Actually, this is quite bigger than what I thought it would be. I think the mirror is making it bigger. All right, we're ready to start our tour here in Naples, and the first thing we're going to do is find a good pizza place. Pizza. We asked the lady at the front desk, where's a good pizza place? Because I didn't want to go to any touristy place, so she told us about this place called D'Angelo. D'Angelo. So we're going to go check that pizza out. We turn here. Look at all the graffiti. Well, we saw that pizza place and it wasn't for us. Yeah, it seems it like it's, it's a takeaway type of yeah. a pizza place. So we're going to try another place. It's made famous by Eat, Pray, Love. So we're going to try that pizza and see if there's not a long line. Pizzeria di Michelle, and this is the pizzeria that was made famous by E. Pray Love, and it's always busy. Luckily, there wasn't a line, which was good. We just walked right in, but again, we are sharing a table with two other people, but, <laughs> but it's okay. This pizzeria has two pizzas only, only two. One is the marinara sauce, and that one has tomato, olive oil, and some garlic, and the margarita, which has tomato mozzarella and basil. And the story behind the margarita pizza, the first queen of Italy, Queen Margarita, she wanted to do something in celebration for the unification of Italy. So she came to Naples and they made this pizza for her and it had the colors of the Italian flag. Red for the tomato sauce, green for the basil, and white for the mozzarella. I think that's kind of like the condensed version of the story behind the margarita pizza, but I can't wait to try it because they say it's really good. Okay, that looks good. I can't wait. So we got the marinara and the margarita pizza is coming next. But as you can see, it's got the tomato, garlic, and olive oil. That's a huge pizza too. Yes. And here I have to, yeah, I can't use my hand, I guess. Yeah, they have cut pizza like they do in America. It's very, it's very soft. The dough is very soft. It's not hard. You don't get chew it. Like it melts in your mouth. That's olive oil. Mm. Now I'm going to try the margarita pizza. I'm going to use a fork and knife here because it doesn't come pre-sliced. So good, it's soft. Mm. Wow, that tastes so good. I need another bite to make sure. Yeah, yeah. That is so doughy. Yeah. It just kind of melts in your mouth. Hmm. It's different than pizza. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I'm going to try the marinara pizza. I'm going to use my hands. You could taste the olive oil and the garlic in this pizza, in the marinara pizza. Oh my god. I think that's uh, garlic. <laughs> every bite, every bite is delicious, 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 delicious. So I have been looking at people how they eat pizza here. <laughs> they fold it like this. Mm. <laughs> very fresh and very good. And do you think it's, it's very big pizza, but the crust is very thin. You can finish the whole pizza by yourself. Oh, and then it's still working on it. Yes. Oh my gosh, that was a really good pizza. And I am so glad that there wasn't a line. We just walked right in, even though we were sitting next to another couple, but it was fine. But the pizza 
especially the marinara. I think I like the marinara better than the margarita. Which one did you like better? I like both. Because I love the taste of the olive oil and the garlic yeah, in the I, tomato I sauce. I it just, I, and I didn't think I would like it without the cheese. I mean, pizza without cheese. But that marinara pizza was really good. And even the margarita pizza was good, too. And you don't add any meat to it. There is no sausage. Yeah. No, nothing. Pepperoni. Pepperoni. But it's good pizza. Yeah, because they only have the two pizzas there. But I really can't believe that we finished both of them. And <laughs> I can't believe it. You finished most of it. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't feel full. Well, that's good. Because yeah. now we're going to walk and try to find a good gelato place. Because yes. I love the Italian gelato. Oh, my God. It's so good. But let's go see if we can find a gelato place. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I look a lot better than yesterday, that's for sure. We do clean up nice, don't we? <laughs> I don't think the same way, but I'm No, <laughs> you look great, baby. We came back to the room last night, and the batteries of our cameras were dead, and so were our phones, so we didn't film anything. By the time the things were charged, we were kind of out. Yes. <laughs> We did enjoy Naples. It's a beautiful city. But now we're going to check out of this hotel and make our way to Sorrento, but we're going to stop in Pompeii first. So can't wait to see that. And the weather is very beautiful outside. Yeah. It's still sunny, I can so, believe it. So that's nice. That's good. That's really good. We're all right. Let's make our way to Pompeii. This time we're taking the taxi to the station. We're not walking. <laughs> nice taxi. that we came in yesterday, Napoli Centrali. Centrali. Centrali? Yes. Yeah. And now we're going to take the local train to take us to Pompeii. And it's in the same station, but you need to go down. We were about to get on the wrong train. So luckily someone, a local here, said no Sorrento Pompeii. So we didn't get on, on that train. <laughs> yes. The next one should be in 10 minutes. And the tickets to Pompeii cost two euros eighty, so under $3. yeah, so under six euros to get uh, train tickets to Pompeii. And since we checked out, we're bringing our bags with us. There is a place they say that we can store the luggage, so we'll see. Yeah. to Pompeii and that train is more like a subway like you see in New York City and with the I think like 20 21 stops but it was all easy it's kind of standing room only and there's no air condition so I can't imagine what it's gonna be like during the summertime we came here and we were able to find a locker area there wasn't one in the train station that I read about but they said by the ticket office that's where you can find the lockers to store your luggage so that kind of helps if you're you know traveling from one place to another where you don't want to waste a day so that was good and it's free we'll find out if it opens up and we can get our luggage back <laughs> so now we're inside Pompeii and the tickets cost 16 euro per person 
We did get an audio guide because Shogit likes to listen to those. And we also got a little map here. So we're going to do it on our own and see as much as we want to see and just wonder at this place. You can see Mount Vesuvius over there. All right, let's go see Pompeii. Pompeii, and as you know, that Pompeii was destroyed by a violent eruption of Mount Vesuvius, which is right over there, on August 24th, 79 AD. I believe there was roughly estimated around 10,000 to 20,000 people that were living in Pompeii at the time, and they all perished from the volcanic ash from Mount Vesuvius. But it was discovered in 1709, and they excavated it, and this is what we see right now. But can you imagine living here at the time, walking around and looking at the mountain? you know, thinking it's just a mountain, but they didn't know that it was a volcano. But we're getting a little glimpse of how they lived during the day. engineering here in Pompeii. I'm standing in the middle of, I guess it's a street, it looks like a street, but when it rains, water will flow down here, and they would have these little stepping stones where you can walk across it so your feet wasn't, uh, doesn't get wet. That's really cool. <music> They like low beds here. Yes. <laughs> and there's the bathroom. Ooh, I like the blue. Oh, no bidet here, just a toilet. And then you have a closet. Let's see what kind of view we got. Oh, it's closed. Okay, now we got it. I was gonna say, I paid for a water view. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful. Beautiful. 